What's up, guys? Oh, I haven't rubbed my moisturiser in properly. What's up, guys? It is Friday, and I'm about 10 minutes away from leaving to go to London. Um, well, I'm not actually going to London straight away. The train I get goes into Hastings, and then I have to wait at Hastings for half an hour for the train to London. Um, I'm going to see Maleficent and Edge of Tomorrow today. I'm really excited. I am going on my own, so I'm a bit of a loner, but oh well. Um, so yeah, I'm still gutted about the football last night. I'm sorry for anyone that is not a football fan, but I really do feel gutted. I think in both matches we were the better team, and it just didn't work out for us. Also, on a completely random note, I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. My t-shirt. Maybe you can see it. Not really sure. This is one of the t-shirts I bought yesterday. It's not black, which is a triumph for me. I was a bit disappointed actually in the t-shirt selection. There were loads and loads and loads of t-shirts in the men's section in Primark, so that's where I get my t-shirts from. Um, but a lot of them were black, or they didn't have my size, which is really annoying. Um, and you can't take your basket into the changing room. So I'm standing there with eight items or more in my basket. I'm having to get them all out while I've got other things in my hands. And the woman for the changing room was really rude. So that irritated me. And then I spilled beer on my back by accident because they were giving out these little free cans of, um, I think it was Foster's with citrus. Oh, that was horrible. And I finished it. I thought I'd like, you know, completely drain the can. So I put the can in like a side pouch on my bag. And then I, when I was getting my stuff out of the basket, I leant forward and I got my t-shirt wet. So moral of the story is don't put cans in your side pockets, kids. <laughs> I'm so random. I do apologise if anyone thinks I'm too random for them. Um, also, thank you to all the new subscribers that I've got. I noticed this morning I've got three or four new subscribers. That's really cool. Welcome. Um, oh, I've spent the last sort of 15 minutes trying to catch up with some comments on my videos. I haven't got through all of them yet through fear of um, leaving late and missing my train, but I will be catching up over the weekend. Also, there'll be a desk tour going up this weekend. It is very brief and I'm only showing the top part of my desk because the lower part is a complete mess and I'm not going to show that to anyone. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Also, I'm starting a new series on my channel um, called Top Fives. Now it'll be Top top Five, a uh, different theme each week. Um, so look out for that one as well. Um, if you've got any ideas for videos you'd like me to record or topics you'd like me to talk about, please do let me know in the comments. Also, I'll be doing a Q&A video soon, so if you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below, or you can submit a question to me on my website, which is devilishydeviant.net. Right, I think I'm going to go for now because I've got to leave in a few minutes. I'm going to take you guys with me, but obviously if it's really busy I won't be vlogging outside, so you may just get a lot of, sort of external shots. We shall see. Have a good day. Hi guys, uh, as you may be able to tell, it is now Saturday. I didn't get a chance to finish yesterday's vlog because I just really didn't feel very well by the time I got home. I didn't manage to record any footage actually in London either because it was so so busy and every time I tried to get the camera out people were staring at me which made me feel uncomfortable. Um, so I thought I'd finish it today. Um, it was a good day yesterday, I saw Maleficent and Edge of Tomorrow. I must say I'm really annoyed that Cineworld brought in allocated seating. It's a real nightmare. Um, so I got to the cinema, went to get my tickets from the counter because I've got an unlimited card. Um, and they said to me, oh, we have unlimited, we have uh, allocated seating from today, um, where do you want to sit? So I just said, in the middle, near the back, in the middle. Got my seats, that was fine, went into the auditorium for the first film. Couldn't find the seat numbers, because they weren't very bright at that point. Um, so I'm having to get my phone out in the dark, I'm the only person there, scrambling around looking for row H, I think it was. Oh, what a nightmare. And if that, if that were a busy cinema at that point, well, it is a busy cinema, but I went at 12 o'clock in the afternoon, so it was empty. There was only three people, I think, in the first film I saw, including myself. Um, there is no need for allocated seating at, at films like that when they're that quiet. Fair enough, when it's a busy film that's come out in its first week of release or whatever, fair enough, no problem with that. But really, for a screen that's only got three people in it do we really need allocated seating city world probably not um the same happened for the second film as well i had to find my seats the worst part is you've now got people coming in later and looking around for their seats and disturbing other people um, because they can't find their seats and they're getting their bloody cameras out and you know their phones out with the torches on and everything oh it pissed me off so much so excuse my language but it really really wound me up so do bear that in mind if you're going to a cine world soon and um, you do have to have allocated seating now um so that irritated me uh, in between films i went to nando's and i had butterfly chicken i think although i felt really ill halfway through eating it so i left uh, 
the majority of it in the end I just felt so ill I just had to get outside for some fresh air it was really really bizarre um, I don't know if it's stress from this whole work thing that's going on or whether or not it was just you know lack of air or like because it's quite warm inside the O2 as well not really sure. Um, after I'd seen the two films, I came back. The films were great, by the way. Maleficent is excellent. If you haven't seen it yet, I'd highly recommend it. Edge of Tomorrow, I enjoyed. I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would. Um, but it is a good film, and Emily Blunt's in it. Oh, she she is beautiful, Emily Blunt. Um, oh, my God. Um, and obviously, Tom Cruise fans would love it. It's a bit of a Tom Cruise fest, I would say. Um, but a good film, nonetheless. Uh, and then I came home. I made good time, really. I think I was back by about quarter to nine, I would say train was fine. The seats are much more comfortable on the Charing Cross service than they are on the Victoria service. It's weird, I don't understand why. But there's no trolley service so I couldn't even get a cup of coffee. So there's that. And then I came back and then I just went straight to bed because I felt ill. And then I'm talking to you today. Um, so there we go. That has been my day yesterday. Um, thank you to all the new followers I've got by the way. It's really cool to keep logging on and seeing more subscribers. Um, thank you guys very much. I'm going to end this vlog now so I can start today's vlog. Um, so I will see you in the next one. Bye.